Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the biggest gutter clean I've done so far. I'm also going to be looking at why it's a good idea to price up a job, not just from photos or from a lead, but to actually go and see it. And also why the cheapest quote doesn't always win the job. But before we do that, we've just got to do this little job. That's my little brother Sam up there, that's one of his jobs. So we're just giving this uh, a quick scrape out first, it wasn't worth getting the gutter vac out for this. But uh, we'll get this done and then we will go on and do this next big job. So we've arrived at our job for today. This is it here. Uh, a, it's an old farm and a stable attached to it. So we'll have a look around and see what's involved. So this is the old farmhouse. Bit of three story there. We've got the uh, predator for that. It's been split up into two properties now, but we've got to do all the way round. And then round here, This here is the back of the stable block. Well, that's gonna be done. We've got the high section there of the house, which is three story, and the house next door to it, which is there. And then we've also got this stable block here. So there's Sam, and Sam's using the panther. So I've got the two vacs on the job. So this is the stable block. So that's the two sides of that that's got to be done. That little bit of a stable there has got to be done as well. And then this block here, both sides. And then that's looking back to the house. So we'll get on. Sam's going to start working on the stable block here. We've arranged to do that at first because all the horses are out at the moment. So we don't want to frighten the horses. So uh, we'll get cracking and work on this.
So that's another job successfully done and the customer's super pleased with it. So I did say at the start of the video, I was going to say why well, you should always go and have a look at a job before you quote it, not just get it over the phone. Well, I picked this uh, job up from Bark, the lead generation app. And when I turned up, I took my GoPro with me. I did a complete survey of the gutters. I also took my measuring wheel and took a, a measurement of all the different height of gutters and then worked out the price accordingly. And I put in a price for a day's work. Well, I did ask the lady and she said somebody else had gone for the lead as well and they'd priced it over over the phone and they priced £50 so big difference on the price of what I'd put in and the price that he'd put in. Now the lady had asked the person to go and uh, quote it so she'd asked him to go and see it because even though he'd put a price in over the phone and he did but unfortunately for him he turned up late so although his uh, quote was actually less than mine because of his lateness uh, and one or two other things she'd actually decided to go with my quote which was a much higher quote so it just goes to show by going and having a look at a job meeting the customer talking to them getting to know them a little bit doing a professional job being there on time all these things add up and if you do all these things put them all together uh, when you price a job go looking smart make sure you're punctual that was the big thing that applied to the lady make sure you're punctual and you will win the jobs even if you're not the cheapest and just by going and meeting them and seeing them you should pick up those jobs a lot easier than if you just do them over the phone you have formed that personal attachment which really helps so once again i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button and thanks for watching bye for now